Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And it's about, oh, I don't know, quarter after 11 on a Tuesday night. I'm off for the rest of the week for Thanksgiving. And I thought initially, well, you know what? Maybe I'll just do a couple of the setups for the uh, for the Doomsday Heist. And I realized that some of those setups require two people at least. And uh, nobody's going to want to do this at 11 o'clock on... A Tuesday night. I don't even really want to do this. And so I'm, I'm kind of... I'm not giving up on any kind of hope of participating in the... Get a hundred billion dollars from Doomsday... Kind of thing. I don't know. If, if I see an invite, maybe I'll take it just to participate. But... Guessing... Guessing I'm out on this one. You know, if we if we don't get the livery for the Zentorno... I'm probably not going to change my Zentornos anyway. So, I'm not going to worry about it. But one of the things I am going to worry, well, not worry about, but partake in here, since I do have a little bit, a little bit of room, since I've traded out my houses here and got, you know, apartments, is there is a sale on the Vapid Clique Wagon. The most luxurious Woody ever to cruise past an immaculately mowed lawn, the clique wagon earned its place in history as the car of choice in San Andreas surf culture. Its stately hardwood opulence screams nostalgia for an era where people didn't believe in shark attacks. They just got out, out there on the waves and made it happen. It is a slow, silly car, but I have a specific place for it in my Huey's Garage Garage. But for right now, uh, here we're gonna put this in. Where's where's the agency? Come on, agency. Boop. And it'll be delivered shortly, because there is a Tyler Hoover connection with this. Of course, Tyler had Tyler had a Woody. Welcome to Hoovy's Garage, the dumbest automotive channel in all of YouTube. And a few months back when I was selling my Ford Raptor, I said that I wasn't a Ford guy. And since I love to contradict myself and make myself look like a complete idiot, I've since bought a Ford Excursion, a Ford Mustang, a Lincoln Mark 8, and now this, a 1951 Ford Country Squire Woody. Well, anyways, this is not going to live here, per se. Boy, I still am hoping. I maybe have... What, eight spots or something right now? Ta-da! Not particularly fetching in white. We're going to rev this up and we'll do it... We're going to do this up Tyler style. Front bumpers, basic bumper. And this, this might be a case where I do some... some Bed up kind of stuff here because I have to look up again. Ty, you know, how often you want to say type in Hoovy's Garage Woody? Hoovy's Garage, then you add the Woody. All right, so that looking at it this way, that stock bumper. That looks pretty close. Let me get a little bit more light on the bumper. Blade bumper. No, he has more of a... Double bullets. No. Basic bumper. Looks like it fits. Rear bumpers. Probably basic too. I don't know if you get a look at the rear end on this. Well, it's a good year, but I think it's good year was back in 1957, and it holds air. Probably shouldn't drive on it, though. I wouldn't. Okay, his looks like somewhere between the stock and the Roadster, but I think his look a little, a little chonkier, so we're going to go with the Roadster. Roadster bumper on this one. They're chonkier. This this has this this has a little bit more of the shape, but they're too narrow and too. Uh, they didn't look beefy enough for me, so we're gonna go with that. That's, that seems more more enjoyable anyway. 
Uh, I'm sticking stock with this one. Fairly certain he's not got side pipes on that other thing. The grill. The stock grill. Basic grill bars. So you take the bullets off. Is this a single bullet or a double? Double. So we're leaving the stock grill. Double bullet. Hood. What kind of well, not horns? We're leaving the storm the horn alone. Standard hood, stock hood. Does it have trim? It's so hard when you're doing video. It has kind of trim and a hood ornament. That's scoop. So I think that's as close as we're gonna get. Oh, there's an ornament. And not that what we're looking for. Let's just put the aerial on. He does have an aerial. Don't have a hood ornament though. Has ornaments. Lights, believe it or not, this thing isn't going to need enough handling boost for me to put lights on it. Livery. I think, we, yeah, we might switch up the panels a little bit. Not like that. No, 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 no. This is kind of the reverse of what he's got. Because, like, that's all matching the same. His are actually more of a, a honey on the outside, dark on the inside. Which, you know, the cherry wood panels would kind of pick that up, that same contrast. But his isn't that dark. Although I do like the cherry wood. What does it say there? Vapid something company. It says that no matter what. So it's either this will be closer to the actual colors, or this will be closer to the actual contrast. Hmm, that's really... I might save that for the next build. I don't know, we'll see what goes on. But I'm thinking let's go with the golden honey for right now. Could always change it. Money's no object. And pinned flames! Hey, those are the free... That's the freebie we got for doing something, but we're not going to use it. That's not the build. Mirrors? I don't think his has mirrors. It doesn't. Okay, so mirrors. Let's leave him stock. It's going to be its own thing anyway. We'll leave that go. Now we spray primary color. Metallic. Somewhere in the browns. So we're going up this way. Straw brown. That might not be far off. Boy, that's pretty close. Sienna. No, I like the Sienna. That's, I kind of like that look a little bit better. We're, we're, we're going for something very specific. I believe it is straw brown. What's the pearlescent on that? Bleached brown. With a brush and ble bleached. Now nah, tone it back down and put straw on straw. See, trim color. That's actually going to be another stripe. I think it matches pretty close. The interior. Just look at the beautiful interior in my Woody. And it's not all real wood. The door panels... <laughs> No, I'm wrong. Now the interior looks more like almost like a sienna. Oh no, wait, that's the wood. Hold on, let me see the headliner and stuff like that. Yeah, let's let's mark it. Let's let's match it up to like a straw brown. I think that'll be pretty close. And don't even really ever notice. Like some of it, some of it is. There's a lot of different more colors in his, but like. If the headliner doesn't match the dash and like that, but we'll we're gonna go with this for right now because why not? I say why not. Roof. Does he have any roof accessories? I didn't even notice. 
doesn't look like it. We're leaving the loot, the roof plane, even though that's probably your your uh, your traction bonus. But nah, this isn't a, uh, a, a this isn't going to be a speed car. We're leaving that stock. We'll do what we can for it. Wheels. Now, wheel type will be low rider. This is actually not far off from what we're going to shoot for here. Like, if we were going to go with chrome old schools, would that be any different? I think they only... Okay. You can get a set of old schools on this, right there. Classic rod, there you go. What's the difference between classic rod in chrome, which is kind of look, look what it looks like here when we throw a white wall on it, versus those. And we just leave them stock. Tires, bulletproof them. Call it good. That's pretty close. Windows, we're going to not smoke them. Because I don't think kids are smoked. So the only question you have here is it better this way or with the uh, the red? I hit the wrong button. Let's con let's continue back to the liveries zone. If we did this and then brought it like some red to the interior. It would be a more interesting car. Yeah, I'm going to go with the cherrywood panels. I think that's not necessarily dark. Well, they have dark mahogany, too. I think cherrywood might fit better. Let's go back to respray and trim color. Do we want to match that up with something like a sienna brown, maybe? <laughs> give it a little bit more complication. I think it's as good as it's going to get. Now we need to take this in the rain. It's raining out there right now, so I'll tell you, here in northeast Pennsylvania. To the Hoobies Garage you're at, which is, I want to say, this one, which one's Mad, um, Mad Lad Lane there? Is it this one, or this one, or this one? I don't remember. Now that's my, that's my apartment. That's on the same main drag here. It should be this one. Not, it's just the one up the street. Whoa! Again, I've done it no favors as far as traction or suspension or anything else like that, or putting lights on it. We see what Willie? Really, 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 really. That's a pretty good wheelie. Not, not as fast as one would hope. Like it's, it's not gonna roll like a cleek. You know, a cleek is a pretty quick muscle car. This is better than I thought it was gonna be. But you can, you can tell it's not got anything as far as 
race pedigree. You know, it is what it is. And this is a fairly good representation of a car that I'm pretty sure that Ruby doesn't have anymore. He sold a lot of stuff. He still has it. He hasn't shown it. Let's see when he gets his new garage built if he gives a tour of what's left. It's a woody. See, is this? Yeah, it's a gray house. This should be the last spot. Last spot taken. The only car in here that's kind of hoovy ish, doesn't have a real connection, is this one. And I can. You know, the Rapid. It's a mis mishmash of cars that he may have liked. <laughs> the rest of it all has some connection here to an actual Hoovies car that he may or may not have had at some point. Ah, oh, you guys are getting me. I hope you're not getting you. It's late at night. I still have one more to do here. Now that one will hopefully have some performance edges that will give it a better chance once we go up. Shilly hard. You serious? Okay, we have a blue one here. I don't know if I'm going to keep it blue. Really, really kind of open-minded on this one. This is... This is going to be a different build. This is going to be whatever I feel like. Are we even recording? Yeah, we are recording. Okay, that's good. Bumpers. Front bumpers. You want to go bullet bumper, or bullet blade, just a blade bumper. Hmm. Roadster bumper. I'm thinking the blade bumper, rear bumper, another blade bumper on the rear. Rev up your engines. I think I do finned no. Let's go with the uh, let's go side mod it. Grill. I've always kinda liked the the big you know Ford center bullet. I mean you know these work too. That works for me. The aggressive classic finned. But that um, that's been pretty well set on that. Hood is going to be, yeah, a vintage scooped. Scooped, vintage scooped. Ornaments, we'll put the aerial on. Deflectors and spotlights. It'd be interesting if the spotlights worked, I'm guessing not. But we need a radio. Horn wheel alone lights. Leave the headlights stock, neon kit, neon layout. We're going to try and give this a little bit of something here as far as that's concerned. Do we want to go with all well, the barn find up? Obviously, where's the free pin flames? There you go. That's not the, that's not the actual bottom one. Okay, so you have barn find with moldy wood. Pin flames worn. That's, that's your freebie. I think we want to leave it free. Man, if it wasn't for all the gray. I mean, the gray does set off the colors. Black cherry on... Black on cherry panels. That... That is nice. Might guide how we, we do the rest of this. Because I'm not necessarily keeping it blue. But we need the blue is fetching here. We could keep it blue. Go blue on black. Blue on black. Tears on a river. Wish you to shine too much. Bullet mirrors. Aerodynamic, tiny little things. Go old school. Plate we leave alone for right now. 
a respray. Yeah, like I'm open here. Black on black. I feel like something a little warmer. There's red. That's like red on red. It's too it's too much. You know I love red. You know, when you get into grace red, I might be like, ooh. That is kind of fetching. Too much red? But, you know, then you think about it. If it's too much red, you could change that back out and put the regular siding back on. That would look better that way. Or just move on. Oh, gasoline green on top of that? Or is the black and red just too dominating, you know? The black and red cherry. Like if we tried to give it a uh, a Hoovies look, man, eh, it really does dominate. Let's swap this out because I really need to look. Go back to livery. Curb colors. Skateboards. I forget how we what we had to do to get this, but it was a lot, wasn't it? Oh, hold on a sec. Just realize I've been talking and talking and talking here for for nothing because it you know the uh, the mic was turned off. Well, this is the kind of thing that happens at midnight. You know you you make these mistakes. We'll speed that all up. Maybe it'll be a better video. We'll make it a better video. How's that sound? Firm settings, 
play on my own. Now where is she? There she is. Custom clique wagon continued. It's a very fetching car, I'll say that much. Definitely looks like you should be heading out to the beach. Definitely shouldn't be doing what I'm about to do. And by the way, in an actual fret, I would probably not do this jump. Oh, it did make it. Because I've thought about that a lot. There's so much risk. Because if I, if I screw it up and dump it in the water, and I'm on a bicycle. That's a bad thing. I'm a bicycle a long, long way from there. So, you know, there's certain risks until I got really good and could just, you know, consistently do the things. I mean, you've seen how many times I've climbed until you. How many times have I dumped the car in the water because I missed the turn point? Quite a lot. I don't know how this is going to do. It doesn't feel like it has quite enough power. But the, the formula is power plus grip. But it's hard to know how much grip it really has when you can't push it that hard. It may have a lot of grip, but just can't really see the end of it. There's only one way to tell what's going to happen here, and that's to do. Can they a fully upgraded? Leak wagon. Climb shell. Duh. On a sunny day. Not confident. Ooh, I'm not confident. I am losing confidence. Oh, come now, you're right there. Or a wheelie, come on! It's wheeling! Almost wheeling itself over. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Oh, I didn't want to wheelie it that way. No, 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 no. I, I screwed that up. Okay, hold on. I was holding brakes and then I let go and I thought I was just going to go forward and I wheelie. Okay. Okay, we have to do this again. Stop and then just get it turned. Aim it the right way. Come on, baby. It's right there. You know you can do it. Don't know if this is working. Bushes did not help us. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, wait a minute, there's a trail right there. Can we? Wheelie for the trail. No, oh heck. Tell you a disaster. Oh. Okay, well, we didn't get stuck there. I almost feel like it could do it. Caught between a bush and a rock.
We get to admire the look of the car here. Sometimes you just have to hit backwards a little bit more and yeet yourself in places you didn't want to go. Do not want to get caught on a rock, but I can't seem to get started on this side of things. All right, let's go. Let's see if we can do the cut across slide here. No, 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 you might be able to fight this to the top, but... Yeah, well, that was cold. Didn't really touch the roof there. Touch the tree, though. Alright, let's, let's bail out. Go the emergency route. Is long enough to put my headphones back on here. Doesn't have a bad sound to it. To be fair, I mean, I think we would have guessed that this isn't a car you'd want to take on the hot lap. Right? The clique, yeah, I think you could take a clique on the hot lap. If you ever found yourself in a clique, which is, I guess could happen. I mean, you know, if you're on a 5M server, clique could happen. I think a clique would be a, a almost ideal G for a car with a good amount of grip and a good amount of power. This is a tough point right here. Not bad. Definitely handling the trail better than a lot of cars I've taken up here. It has a pretty powerful wheelie, so if we get if we get jazz, we can try to use that. But I'm hoping it just has what it needs to get up to the top of the mountain. This is not in any way the fastest way up. But it does work if you're in a pinch. We are in a pinch. So is this ideal? No. Is it an ideal Chiliad vehicle? No, 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 no. no. But if you got one, you're stuck. That's what the car you got. This is what you ended up with. If you took the trails, you could continue on the race. And sometimes that's... Let's get you by. Until you can find yourself a 9F or something, you know. Wouldn't want to try this in the rain with this. I think this is as much as it's going to do. Yay! We got it. And now it's blah 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 blah. Okay, wait. Dig in the wheels. I'm digging the way the wheels kind of go with the chrome. A little chrome on chrome action here. Mon Chrome. And will this be a Chiliad disaster on the way down? Most Chiliad disasters, I think, probably more than going up, having coming down. You just, you know, you think you think you inch her up, you're good. Then you have this. 
And I'm glad I put all that armor on. But I'm fairly certain that would have gone boom. Actually, it turned into it that way and let it slide itself over a little bit. There's my door. We're drifting this down. Oh dear, there goes the the whole front of the hood there. Well, we can look, we have, give us a chance to admire the motor a little bit. It's very much like an old flathead kind of thing going on there. Let's take a closer look at it later. But we did it. It did go up and down Chiliad. Now I'll just take it through the, through the rest of the way here. I would have made this the Thanksgiving video, because it's like the kind of car you would drive to Thanksgiving back in the old days. Going to Grandma's house. Bringing the turkey and the, and the kids in the back here, but, you know... I don't know that this is going to make it up for Thanksgiving. We'll have to see. Because there's a lot to do with just, you know, Thanksgiving. I thought I would have thought I would have had a lot more time today to do this. And nope, nope, that's not how it worked out. So I will say this, it drives a lot better than I thought it would. Oh dear, well not there. To need to cut the corner a little bit, you know. Too tight for a lowrider. It goes a little bit faster than I thought it would, and it, it drives a little bit better than I thought it would, and it really isn't like you know a painful car. This isn't like driving a surfer. Like if you had to go to like a surfer meet or something like that, like you know, like a, like a Beach Boys themed kind of thing, do even people even know who the Beach Boys were? You could Google them. And you'll see cars like this probably. He used to sing about loading up their woody. He should you should look it up. It, it's pleasant music. If you feel like you you want a California vibe, with cool old cars, and pretty girls, and conservative bikinis, that's kind of the. Uh, that's kind of the, the feel you're getting. I don't know. I've, I'm starting to ramble. Sometimes it's good when I start rambling. I'm over time. I'm up with interesting combinations of words. But no, it's... Wheelie! Have you ever seen a guy wheeling a damaged Woody before? Huh? To hate a damaged Woody? But it did it! That's really all we measure here. We're not even looking at the times because that has so much to do with my own skill. That is a good looking car though, I gotta, I gotta admit. Give it the like. You gotta like your own race, I guess. If I don't like it, then why is it up? I should be working on it. But I might do like it. It's really just a chunk of somebody else's race anyway. Okay. Last thing, of course. We'll do what digital car addicts all over the world would do. Where'd it go? Yeah, 
Vehicle doors. Oh. Poop, poop. I like the way it splits the door on the back. That's kind of neat. I have no idea. How are you getting into the back seat? I guess hopefully that flips forward. And climb in. That's... It's a simple looking motor. Not a flathead though, that's an overhead cam. It just has the old uh You see you'd see the spark plugs in the head there if you if it was a flat. Big old big old air filter and I guess that's the fuel pump. No sign of the brake. It's a it's a very simple uh engine compartment. But yeah. Not a bad car at all. I'm glad I held off, though, because I almost got two for the price of one. I mean, not quite. 40% off. And I think that's, you know, that's the appropriate time to grab one of these. Or if you really, really like it based on this, then, you know, hey. It's, it's digitally imagined money anyway. It's not even Bitcoin. It's just GTA money. So I wouldn't buy a shark card for this. But, you know, if you can... Do a couple of things, making the making the dollars in game. There you go. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. Uh, and if this doesn't make it up before Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. Or if you happen to be watching this around Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. If you're watching around a different holiday or not around a holiday, hey, listen, have a good day. Whatever that holiday or day is, have a good one. I'm going to bed. Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight, and it's something after 11 on a Tuesday night. Tuesday before Thanksgiving. And I need to just... I've had a very task-oriented day, so why not just have a task-oriented kind of afternoon? Can this be soloed? Players 1, 2, or 4, no. We'll see if anybody wants to do it. Not very. Let's see, I've gone with the, one of the tactical outfits here, one of the the pincher or something. It's called. It's totally and see this. The fact that you can't solo this. Man, am I even gonna do this tonight? Really? Eleven o'clock at night. Who's gonna want to do the? The, the Avengers setup. That's that's ah, right.